from two very public divorces to serious health struggles. HGTV star Christina Hall has had a rough time, and no matter how easy breezy she makes her work and family life look, it's been anything but. The divorce of Christina Hall and Tarek El Moussa changed the tone of the once-loved flipper flop. In December 2016, Hall and El Moussa announced they'd split, but their divorce wasn't finalized until January 2018. The former couple continued to film Flipper Flop together until the series officially ended in 2022. Tark and I, you know, we met at work, so we worked together before we ever started dating, and, and it's just, it's our, it's our normal. Perhaps unsurprisingly, there were some awkward moments in the wake of their separation. In Flipping and Dating, the sixth episode of season seven, the estranged pair faced the reality of their new lives and invited audiences in by awkwardly teasing each other about dating other people. It was clear they intended to lighten the mood and convince the public they were still comfortable working with each other, but their interactions came across scripted, forced, and totally cringe. So are you gonna let me talk or should I just stand here? And fans didn't love what they were seeing. As one ex-user wrote back in 2018, if you want a great example of how to act like an adult when you divorce someone but still choose to work with them, watch tonight's episode of Flip or Flop and do the exact opposite. Another ex-user posted, the digs on Flipper Flop are annoying, don't want to watch exes taking swipes at each other. But some audience members sympathize with the couple. One of them tweeted, Impressed they are keeping it real on Flip or Flop and argue on camera. A divorced couple working together cannot be easy. The awkward on-screen patter between Hall and El Musa was amplified by the headlines that appeared following their divorce news. It was no secret that the split was not only messy, but heartbreaking for the family of four, since it was plastered all over the media. During filming, the couple formed new romantic relationships. El Musa began dating Heather Ray Young, now El Musa, of Netflix's Selling Sunset, while Hall began a relationship with English television presenter Ant Anstead. I met Ant through a mutual friend, and it was basically love at first sight. But as Hall and El Musa personally went their separate ways, they still shared a TV career, which created major tension for the whole production team. In July 2021, TMZ reported that El Musa yelled at Hall on set because he didn't like her tone. TMZ's source claimed he actually pitted Hall against new girlfriend Heather, calling his ex-wife a quote, washed up loser. On top of their personal conflicts being made public, the exes dealt with the emotional process of selling their house, even featuring it on an episode of Flipper Flop. The divorce affected their oldest child, daughter Taylor, significantly. As Hall told People in February 2017, Taylor asked if we could get back together. We had to explain that sometimes couples get divorced, but that she and Brayden are our number one priority. We'll always be a family. This was a lot for a six-year-old to process, so Hall and El Musa sent Taylor to therapy. According to Hall, it helped. She told Good Housekeeping, one day, as I was driving her to an appointment, she said, I don't need to go to therapy anymore. I think you and Daddy are happier apart, and I don't really need to talk about it anymore. I was like, wow, that's a big comment for a six-year-old. El Musa and Hall aren't the only ones who've locked horns. In May 2022, Tarek's new wife Heather got into an argument with Hall at one of Brayden's soccer games. It escalated to where Tarek had to grab Heather by the arm and remove her from the situation. Fortunately, it sounds like they were able to work things out. While we never got the full story, a rep for Hall gave Page Six a joint statement from the women, saying, A personal matter was discussed and has since been resolved. We are focused on co-parenting as a team moving forward. Photos of the spat hit the internet after Brayden underwent an emergency appendectomy. Hall took to Instagram stories to share that he was doing well and let the world know the adults' drama didn't matter, writing, we are all under pressure, but when it really matters, we were all there for Brayden doing our part. Sometimes a scary situation can be a good wake-up call. In the end, all of the other stuff is just noise. What matters is the kids. Hall and Anstead became involved shortly after the separation from El Musa. The two fell hard and fast, getting married within the year. They wed in December 2018, and in September, they welcomed a son named Hudson. But the honeymoon didn't last long. In September 2020, only a year after Hudson was born, Hall announced on her Instagram that the two had made a big life change, posting, Ant and I have made the difficult decision to separate. 
We are grateful for each other, and as always, our children will remain our priority. We appreciate your support and ask for privacy for us and our family as we navigate the future. At first, Paul and Anstead's split seemed copacetic. The divorce was finalized in June 2021, with the couple agreeing to share custody of their son. However, Anstead evidently changed his mind. In April 2022, he filed for sole custody of Hudson and made a number of harsh claims about his ex-wife's character. The filing was denied the same day, but the fight wasn't over. A month later, Anstead claimed Hall was using Hudson as a puppet on social media for her own gains. In response, Hall posted an Instagram selfie with a lengthy caption that read in part, I am mentally exhausted over the recent false accusations against me. Hudson's father has made attempts to turn my family, friends, and fans against me through manipulation tactics and false information. She went on to say she would no longer feature their son in her content. After a lot of back and forth in the courtroom, it was decided the two would continue to share joint custody. On Mother's Day 2023, Paul took to Instagram to reflect on her recent personal struggles, posting, No matter where you are in life or what's happening, stay positive. It can all change in a year. In December 2022, Christina Hall shared in an Instagram story that she had a bad reaction to some cosmetic work, writing, In April, I had a reaction to under eye filler, super swollen and it wouldn't go down with time. She posted a selfie to show what happened, followed by a post filler removal picture. After the inflammatory reaction, she wondered if another cosmetic procedure was behind various health issues she'd been dealing with, posting, been super exhausted lately, so on a kick to get back into my body. I've had some unexplained health stuff for years, and now I'm considering the thought that this could be breast implant related. I'm curious on all the ladies' take on this. I've always just eaten really clean, organic. One of my best friends is a nutritionist, so I have that going for me. Ultimately, Hall decided to follow in the footsteps of stars like Danica Patrick and Sharon Osbourne and have her implants removed. In January 2023, she confirmed to E! News that she'd booked appointments to begin the process. In December 2022, Paul shared in an Instagram story that she'd undergone testing to try to figure out what was causing her health issues. She shared, My scan said I have mercury and lead poisoning, most likely from all the gross houses I've been in, the bad flips, and I have small intestine bacteria overgrowth. The scan was performed at WAM, an alternative medicine center in California using a machine that can pick up imbalances in the body. The clinic then takes a more functional route concerning treatment. Hall shared the treatment plan via Instagram, writing, So we are first detoxing all of this through herbs and IVs, and then see how I feel and tackle the implants. She also shared that she suffered from a variety of other health issues including inflammation, Hashimoto's disease, Raynaud's disease, polycystic ovary syndrome, unexplained skin rashes, swollen lymph nodes, adrenal fatigue, and more, implying that it may all be connected. In January 2023, Paul updated fans in an interview with E! News, saying, I'm just really focused on doing a cleanse right now, eating super clean. I'm doing supplement detox, and there's a local wellness place nearby where I've been doing hyperbaric chambers and IVs. She noted that ever since she made these changes, she's felt significantly better. The star of Christina on the Coast deals with online trolls and haters on a regular basis, but she doesn't let that stop her from living her life. Her dating history has made her a target for critique, so Hall made a big change to her social media. She started turning off the comments on posts that might bring out negativity. As Hall moved on from Tarek El Moussa to Ant Anstead to Joshua Hall, some fans took to the comment section of her Instagram to share their two cents. And the comments were always kind. Instead of getting into a war with each individual commenter, Hall figured it'd be best to just keep the bad vibes at bay as much as possible, posting, I normally turn off comments with Josh and will continue to do so if people are rude. I don't want to waste any minutes of my life blocking negative people. In an interview with People, Hall admitted that hateful comments can really sting, confessing, I allow myself a little time to be upset, and usually the things that upset me are when people make direct statements about things they have no idea about. I have a great life, and I can't be focused on pleasing everyone. Although Hall lives an insanely lavish life, she's a farm girl at heart, with all that comes with it. In March 2023, she took to Instagram to share the news of a death on the family farm. 
We lost our sweet penifer, Benifer, to a predator who got into our pen. Never thought I could be so attached to a chicken, but this was one special chicken. Benifer was the only chicken who was eaten out of all 16 of our chickens. Ben, you'll be missed. The post included a handful of photos of the family with their special chicken. The Reality Stars fans immediately sent their condolences, including one who posted, He was probably protecting the flock, and that is why all the rest of them are alive. Roosters will fight to the death to protect their flock. Sorry for your loss, he was a noble gent. HGTV commented, Poor Hennifer, thinking of y'all. But the loss didn't keep the family down for long. In October 2023, Hall announced on her Instagram that they'd welcome two new additions to the farm a mini donkey, and a pony. Hall's parents were in Lahaina, Maui during the catastrophic wildfires that broke out in 2023. In an Instagram story, the reality star shared a screen grab from her parents' account of their experience. After spending time without access to the internet or electricity, her parents evacuated and were transported to the city of Kihei. They posted, The whole area of Lahaina town is gone. So many people have lost their homes. It took us a couple of tries to get road access out. We made it. It is such a tragedy. It erupted so suddenly people had to run into the ocean to escape the fire and then later be rescued. In her Instagram story, Hall noted that she and her family regularly visited Lahaina, writing, What's happened there is beyond devastating. My thoughts and prayers are with everyone affected by these horrific fires.